Okay, I'm going to put a puff of air into this side. Here we go. Wow. Cool. Wow, I just love those oscillations. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to switch you to a black background. Yeah, so that's about 800 mils. So this should put it around 1,100 milliliters. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I just love that. Look at that. Amazing. Just one of these jaw-dropping moments. Okay, here we go to do it again, looking into the camera, big puff, here we go. Oh, right at the lead. I saved the lens. What I'm planning to do is, after this whole series of experiments, I'll suck all this water up with a syringe, I'll put it back in bags, and I'll use it to make tea with, so I'll end up drinking my experiment. You gotta conserve your resources when you're in the frontier. You don't get to see this as common, intuitive, observables on Earth. And so when we go into a frontier, our normal Earth-honed intuition no longer applies. And this, this rule works when you go to the bottom of the ocean or into the stratosphere or, or wherever you find your frontier under the stage of an electron microscope. Your normal everyday life intuition no longer applies. And that's why frontiers are rich in discovery, because things aren't the normal, they aren't the usual. Ah, Joe, come take a peek at this. Holy crap. Get my towel ready to catch the satellite drop. Here we go. Isn't that wild? That's great. It's a superposition of surface waves that go around the outside of the sphere, and body centered waves, inertial waves that go through the middle. I'm going to give it another puff just because I'm in space and I can. And instead of putting a puff of air on it, I'm going to put a puff of water. This is going to have a lot more momentum in it than the air. Whoa, whoa. I was afraid. Oh, look at that. Cool. I squirted water through. Oh, isn't that cool. The water in the sphere went around the air cavity and formed a huge bubble. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. Let's see what my hand looks like. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Shows that optics works. And let's see what my mug looks like. be a human pendulum. This shows the lens lock. Motion is in the opposite direction and the image is inverted or upside down. And there I am and I'm going to come up here with my eyeball. I'm going to do the same thing with my nose, and this is going to get ugly, and I apologize in advance. So I look like I have a floating head. I have a black shirt on, and it blends with the black background, so I'm just a floating head. Okay, enough of that. And let's get back to doing some science. Oh, man. It swallowed up.
how am I going to get those out?